wasn't sure if we had active bleeding. Uh, hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to make a short video today to just give you an update of what's going on. I haven't been feeling well the last few days. I am off the chemotherapy and I still just don't feel well. My mouth is still, the inside of my mouth is still ache. The outside of my mouth is starting to ache again. I'm being treated for um, a sinus infection, which feels like it's clearing up. Um, but the back of my throat is still no good. I'm taking Benadryl and Sudafedrin and antibiotic and the nose spray and my allergy medicine. So lots of things. Um, I wanted to update you really quickly on what happened yesterday. Now I'm telling you this now. I do not want to hear all of your medical opinions in the comments down below. I spoke to my doctor, my doctor, my doctor, and we've taken care of everything that needs to be taken care of. I just wanted to let you know what's going on. Yesterday I had infusion and the routine when we leave is Jamie loads the car. I get rollatored out to the mud room. What I do is I roll my mud, my rollator up to the edge of the mudroom door. I slide out to stand on my good foot. And Jimmy holds the rollator, usually either from the outside or the inside, but usually from the inside. And um, I stand up and then I pivot and he folds the rollator and puts it back behind me, like under my butt, so that I can sit and then roll to the car. Well, I decided that I was not going to be patient and wait for my husband. It was 100% my fault. Don't blame him at all because he has he really had nothing to do with it. I just got impatient and I decided to, oh, maybe I could do this myself. So I rolled my rollator up, pulled myself. What I do is I pull my arms outside the door as I lift my foot and um, the rollator went out from under me and I fell on my butt. Now I did a nice gentle fall. I kind of did like a slow fall because I was holding myself on the outside a little bit. So not to have the impact of my butt because I, you know, my back. But also like all those years of playing volleyball, they teach you how to roll, like fall properly. So it took me 35 minutes to get up because I only have one good leg and no good knees. And the shoes that I had on were adequate for what I was going to do, but weren't adequate for getting up off the floor. I will tell you also, the muscle weakness was unlike I can imagine. I, I, I had really had no idea I was that weak to do that type of thing. However, I've never tried to get up with just one leg before. So that's a new thing that we worked on yesterday. So it took two dining room chairs, my husband, and 35 minutes of me just going like an inch at a time. I uh, got cushions under my knees and I got up on my knees um, and then I was able to get up from my knees to lay with my stomach on the chair. And then I was able to push myself up with the one leg and the two arms to get myself into the other chair that was behind me. So it was a, 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 a feat. I wish I had a video camera before because I would have loved to have seen how it actually worked out. <laughs> But it was rough. It was uh, taxing. Jim was scared. I wasn't scared. I was embarrassed, but not embarrassed like, oh, we have to call 911 and they have to come and get us, like fat person on the floor. I was embarrassed because I know better. I should have waited. Every time we've gone out, I've made sure that he was behind me and pushing against my chair so that this wouldn't happen. So I don't know if my brain fog was just like, oh, you got this, done, you know, just go. Or if I really was just like, you know, uh, overconfident. But I don't remember being overconfident. So I kind of feel like it was almost a brain fog issue. So, um, yeah, I'm okay. What hurts today is not my butt, not my back, not my head. My head kind of like rubbed against the rollator because I was going down slow and the rollator was like coming out from under me. So it like clipped the back of my cranium, but it really doesn't, I like, even when I push on it, I can't even feel that anything happened to it, but my knees hurt. Um, I said to my sister, it's probably been 
over a year that I've kneeled. Um, when I go to like Emily's house, I'll sit on the floor and I'll have to get pillows under my knees to, to kneel to sit up to get back on the couch. Like if I'm playing with the kids or whatever. But it's definitely been over a year since I did any of that. Because um, I've been there, you know, and there's no reason, no reason for me to get on the floor here. So I'm sorry I'm a mess physically. I'm sorry the sounds stink. But I really just made sure, wanted to make sure that it came on and told you guys uh, what was going on. Now I'm treating my lips the same way I did the first time. So I'm expecting them to clear up. Um, this is, uh, this was, I like hit it. I'll tell you it's funny. But this was actually like a fever blister uh, that started. This was, Jimmy was helping me get my dress off yesterday. And the inside of the dress that I was wearing yesterday had like a, a waistband like it was a faux wrap dress so I had like a waistband and he clipped my lip and because my lips I'm using the steroid cream and it's making my lips so thin just clipping my lip with the inside of an like a piece of elastic sewn on fabric cut it and that's what caused this here so be careful <laughs> but seriously um I really feel good today except my knees hurt so I use the Voltaren cream, which is the anti-inflammatory that the doctor prescribed for last year when my knees were bothering me. Um, I reported, some, I called my doctor actually before, as soon as I got on the chair, I called my doctor because I was due for infusion. Uh, I called the oncologist and I was like, this is what happened. Does he want me to? Because I wasn't sure if he wanted me to like, yes, come in an ambulance and get x-rayed. But he asked me like questions. How did you fall and where did you land? And how do you feel? And I was honest. I wouldn't, you know, uh, shy away from it. Um, but I really find it's weird because I never considered my back. My sister was very upset. She was like, why didn't you go to the emergency room? You hurt your back. And you could have broken. I was like, I didn't even think about because I didn't fall hard. Um, it was actually pretty good the way I kind of fell. It was like, you know. Um, but I didn't fall hard, so I didn't think anything of it. I didn't think my back would even be affected. So, um, I had, like, a laying here, and I had, like, a feeling, a good feeling of, like, five minutes. Like, maybe I could actually talk to you guys. So, as gross as I look and as gross as I am, whatever, if you guys think I'm gross, I don't care what to tell you. But I felt good enough to talk to you, and I know that many of you were worried about me over the last couple of days. I also am very sorry that I never posted to YouTube, my community page, that I wasn't going to be doing a video. Um, wasn't going to have a post for Tuesday, Monday, Monday, Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. I didn't have one today and I didn't have one the day before. So yeah, for Tuesday. So I didn't post, I didn't put the, the post that I was going to not post. I didn't make the community tab post that I wasn't going to make a video for Tuesday. Upload a video. That's a good word, so I don't have to say post a thousand times. I didn't make a post in the community tab saying that I wasn't going to upload a video for Tuesday. So I apologize about that. I did make it over on my Instagram, which goes to my Facebook business page, but I realized that not everybody is subscribed. So I had a few people, uh, close friends and stuff, reach out because they didn't know to check those other areas. Um, just make it sure I'm okay. And actually, they reached out. They did hear, and they reached out just to say, "I hope you, you know, hope you're okay. I hope that what's not causing you to post is something bad." I also want to tell you, I love my nails because my mouth has been so irritated. I haven't been able to bite my nails, so they're growing. I know I won't be able to do any crafts with them because I never have been in the past. <laughs> um. Hmm. Oh goodness, I was just going to say something else. Um, oh, so I rescheduled. I, I called the doctor and she said, you can still try to come in. And I was like, no, I have like negative 50% energy. Like my legs were shaking. I was so weak. It actually took Jimmy pulling me off the chair to maneuver me to the rollator to get back in the bedroom. And the same thing when we got back in the bedroom. He he had to like pull me to, to so I could like basically get back in bed. 
Um, I said I just wanted to lay down and make sure everything was okay. I did like a whole full body check, like, you know, my elbows, because I did push off my elbows a lot too, and I wanted to make sure my elbows and arms were okay. It was just unusual. I, I don't fall. I'm not a faller. This was the fourth time in my whole life that I can remember falling. When I was about five or six, I start, tried to stand on a rolling chair, and I fell and knocked the wind out of me. When I was six, 17, 16 or 17, I was at the state parade, and I had... Actually, I don't even know if it was a state parade, but I was at a parade upstate New York, and I had my bass drum, and I tried to go down a, p a patch of grass, but it was wet, and I went, whoop, slid down the patch of grass and held my bass drum over my head. It was pretty funny. And then when I took the girls to, the ladies from the group home to um, Lake George, I was talking to the staff as I was walking backwards and I tripped over a parking bumper. Um, I laughed so hard that day. It was so funny. They were so scared that I hurt myself, kind of like Jim yesterday. He was like so scared um, that they were, I was laughing so hard they thought I was crying. So um, yesterday I was just really disappointed in myself. I really am. I was like I said, I'm embarrassed because I know better and I don't know if my brain function just was like not working or something like I don't know what I was thinking to be honest so I've rescheduled oh so then the doctor said uh, reschedule and she put me down and I rescheduled for St. Patrick's Day so I'm going to go to Infusion on Thursday instead I won't wear my new dress which Jimmy said was totally sweaty um, but I'm going to wear green so happy St. Patrick's Day to you all you're watching this on St. Patrick's Day I'll be going to Infusion and uh, top of the morning to you Erin Gobra and Sl Shlanta um, so all the things, all the things, um, but listen, I appreciate you. I love you. And I don't mean to get on you about like, you should have done this. You should have done that. It's really, really hard to, to follow everybody's suggestions and advice. And I know a lot of people are really upset that I don't take everybody's advice, but first of all, a lot of times your advice is contradictory to someone else's advice in the comments. Most importantly is I have a doctor. Um, I'm not going to just do what you say if my doctor says I can't do it or I shouldn't do it. So I mean, that's just it. Um, but I appreciate all of the suggestions and I hope that other people in the comments can run it by their doctors and hopefully that they can um, appreciate it and get some use from it too. So uh, I am still very disappointed that this is two weeks, no chemotherapy, and I don't feel better. My rash is still a rash. I don't know if you could see it. Yeah, my rash is still a rash. My lips are now again boo-booed. My inside of my mouth has not ever gotten better. My, I, I would say like my, um, my visceral weakness, like I'm always tired, is still a thing. And the, now after yesterday, I realized that my muscle weakness is really not where it's supposed to be either, but it was better than it was I guess but we'll see when we go to Thursday we'll talk to the doctor and see what the next plan is and we'll just go from there and we'll take it one day at a time because that's all we can do I actually just watched a commercial from metastatic breast cancer ladies and they're like each moment take each moment make the moment the best moment that you can and that's why I decided to pick up the camera today because I had a good moment but now I'm starting to regret talking so long because now my throat hurts <laughs> worse so I love you guys. If nobody's told you today that you're loved, remember you can always come by here. You can hear how I love you. And as always, you take care. God bless. I'll see you next time. Bye.